University Ave 425. Let me go in. Nobody's here. Hello. Hi, did you have any questions about being? Yeah, I've heard about it. How much is it? Well, we have two different models. You can see that's the other model right there. Which model? So that's, that's a one model. Okay. And that one is about uh, two thousand dollars. So this is two thousand. Okay. I'm on the enterprise model, made for uh, corporate business world. Okay. Uh, this one is seventeen thousand. Seventeen thousand. Can you show me which one? This is the one I'm using now. Oh, this one you are using. Okay, seventeen thousand. And what's the difference between the consumer and this uh, seventeen thousand? The seventeen thousand dollar model is just bigger and stronger in every way. Uh, it has a better battery life of eight hours. Eight hours, okay. Twice as fast at two miles an hour. Has two Wi-Fi radios, two extra microphones, and uh, it's obviously bigger in height. Okay. And uh, what about the consumer one? What's the spec for that? So that has a two-hour battery life. It takes about four hours to charge. It's smaller, obviously, than, than mine. So how does it charge itself? Someone has to plug in or it can charge itself? No, for example, as I'm controlling this one, okay. I'm going to leave and charge it. As I approach this station, on my screen, it turns green. As I hold down the letter P, it's doing it all by itself. Oh, you turned it. And it'll figure out the best way to get in there. You can test drive one on the computers over there. Okay. So, all you gotta do to get started is use the arrow keys. Holding down the up arrow will go forward. Uh, only the ones in Kansas City. Oh, I can only do Kansas City. Okay, I see. So I cannot try any of the real thing here in this store. No, but they're exactly the same. You don't want to have a bunch of people rolling around the store, you know. How do you make it turn? It's just uh, the left arrow key will go left. Ah, uh, I see. Okay, left arrow key and go left. I see. Okay. And uh, let me try one to dock. It's oh. on the opposite side of the room. Oh, okay. You have to make it all the way to the other side of the room. And then as you approach that one. Okay, now I see a green. So what do I? Hold down the letter P. All you gotta do is hold down the key P, P. The letter P. Yep. Just keep holding that down and it'll do it by itself. Oh, I see. Dock and stop. Okay. So is it a way that uh, it knows the battery is low, it go there by itself? No. You would have to control it over to the area. If I leave it at home while I'm on vacation, can this stay in the house and uh, guard the house? Well, it, it doesn't do anything autonomously. You would have to control it if you ever want it to be used. Are there are other model here? Uh, there really are only two models. The, okay. the taller ones and the smaller ones. Some specialty ones back there. One with a camera, one oh. with a leaf blower on the bottom, and one that dispenses candy. But those oh. are just made by us, just for fun. Oh, sorry. But that was actually a specialty thing that our uh, our programmers designed. We don't sell this candy dispenser. Oh, you don't sell it? Okay. Yeah, it was just a special thing that we made. Are there competitors in the market? Uh, I believe we do have at least one other competitor. Uh, I'm not really familiar with them at all. Yeah, I know there's one Sunnyvale. I haven't uh, visited them. Come up with a lot of different, like the, the leaf blowing one. We just hook up a leaf blower to that and we can control it with our computers. And then there's the camera one. So we hooked up a camera to it and yeah. just control it with our computers. These are just our programmers messing around and having fun. Okay, can you make one of the consumer one move? Let me see how fast it will go. Let me uh, hop out of this one and I'll beam into one of those. So here's the top speed of uh. the uh, consumer model. Okay. Uh, it looks like uh, it may not be stable. This is pretty stable, but would this uh, fall? Uh, it already 
footprints, they've never fallen because all the weight is in the base of it. Okay. All the weight is in the wheels. Uh, you know, the screen doesn't weigh very much, but uh, the wheels and the motor weigh a lot more, and it's all down low. So it's pretty stable as far as we've seen. Uh, but that's on the flat. What if there's a little step or some uneven surface? Well, I've rolled around with this one outside before, and it, it does get a little bumpy, but never, uh, never anything you can't handle. What if it's actually fall? Can they can they get it up by itself? It would not be able to stand back up by itself. Oh, okay. So if once it fall, a human has to come and pick it up. That's oh, correct. I see. That w it would be nice if it can kind of <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. Flip itself back up. Okay, how heavy is this consumer one? I mean, the, the big one's 98 pounds. Uh -huh. This one is about uh, 78 pounds. Can I try to lift it? Um, sure. Very okay. gently, please. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. All right. So it's not too heavy. I can actually lift upstairs second floor nice talking to you good to meet you yeah. have a good one David. yeah thank you bye bye, bye.